I'm going to try to fix this um, electric heater. Uh, this particular one is called the Comfort Zone Oil Filled Radiator Model CZ7007, and it's a 1500 watt. I'm going to take it apart and see if I can fix it. I think I'm going to start at this place where it says Do Not Cover. Uh, well, I just snapped that off and I'll unscrew it. There are two more screws on the bottom. Well, I managed to strip out that screw because I was trying to undo it with one hand and using a bit that was kind of bad. Uh, let me show you something that almost always works. Got it locked on there. Yeah. You just turn it. That. There we go. I had my multimeter at the ready so I could test these things, but look at it. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. Maybe not why, but what. This is the switch that if it tips over or shuts it down. And you can see this end is all corroded. And then this end just burned its way through. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with just sitting down in the damp basement all year or what, but we replace that wire and that ought to fix it. It's just a lot of corrosion all over this stuff, so I'm just cleaning up the rust and whatever else this is. Alright, I, I, I put a new wire on there. Let's plug it in. Turn it on. And look at that. Okay, seems to be working. As long as I have this apart, let's take a look at how it's wired. Power comes in here. Positive side. I'm going to unplug it. Positive side here. Negative side here. The positive wire goes up here and then it goes through the switch again that's the switch that turns it off if it tips over so this thing would be lying like this and that would open up that switch but as long as it's straight up and down power is going to come up through here back through this now blue wire it's really was red and then on this particular one I know there's a million different kind they all look the same but this just has like a rheostat on it not really a thermometer or not really a, a thermostat on it so that's going to go through there and then send out whatever power through here now there's those two switches on the front which say they're low and high and higher um, it goes in here this is blue is the ground and I believe this blue wire is just simply for the lights that are on the switches and if you turn on the um, well one of the switches it's going to send power down from the red to this black wire which goes into one side of this heating element which is on this one a 1500 watt heating element yeah it's got a one and a two on it so it's got two elements in it so that'll turn on that one this is just the ground up here which is bridged and you turn on the other switch then it's going to send power the same power down through um, number two. Now I don't know, maybe those elements are, are um, different wattages in there. I'm not sure. But that's all there is to the wiring on these heaters which are everywhere. Okay, so if you've got problems, you ought to be able to figure this thing out. There isn't a whole lot to it. Good luck.